Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to teach you a new game called football. For that you need a bunch of socks and a tray. All socks need to be rolled up. Just in case if you don't have socks, you can use paper, roll it up and you can go ahead. Right. So this fun game is uh, very helpful for children to develop their motor coordination, orientation and cognitive skill. So today I'm going to show you how to play this fun game. Let's get started. Okay, what you have to do is you hold the tray full of socks and you have to spread it all around the place, right? Like, okay, put the tray aside. Now, you have to earn as many socks as you can. Now, I'm going to show you how to earn the socks. To earn the socks, you have to draw a line between the nearest, two nearest socks. Okay, then you can hit with one another. Now, you have to find the best possible option. Let's say, okay, here I found one, I'll draw the line between, I'll cut it, and if you miss it, if you're playing with someone else, that person will get a chance, right? So I'll try it one more time, just to show you, okay, now you pick whichever is best for you, in this case I'm going to pick this because I have one best option here, right, you go ahead, cut it, right, and I can pick now either of two, let's say, I'll pick this one and I'll go here, cut it. Oops, what happened? I hit it. Now, if you hit other socks, then you're out again. So make sure you don't hit it. So, now, right, right now, I'm trying to uh, teach you the rules. Right? Let all will make us rules. So, you cut it, hit it. Okay, now you pick. And from here, you can jump onto the other side. It's up to you. Let's say here's one. Work. Okay, I'll take this one and I'll go for this one. Okay, I'll okay, go it. I'll take this and this two I can try it. Good. So, this is a good way of you know uh, developing your coordination and you're also going to learn decision making, right? It's a good way of learning. So when you're playing alone, just in case if just in case if you miss it, so you can like you know uh, instead of going continuously, you can just you know go for one push-ups, right? One squat or one jumping jack. Next time if you miss it, you go for two. So you will keep on increasing. Challenge yourself. Okay, now the situation become quite tough. You have to find the best option. Sometimes you need to take risks. So you will also learn to take risk in this game. Mm. Let's see, okay. I, I got one here. Okay, I miss it. Now when I'm when I'm playing alone, I'll go for one spot or I'll go for one jumping jack. Two three jumping jacks is up to you. Right. So I miss it. Now I'll go again. I'll take it. So you can keep on playing. Okay, one more portion here. Okay. So when you are striking, make sure okay, you shouldn't strike other socks. When you are drawing line between these two, you have to strike that sock only. You cannot strike other socks. If it hits, out. Now when you are playing with someone else, when there is an opponent, competing with someone else then if you miss it he will get the chance right if he miss it you're gonna get a chance so once everything is over all the socks are finished you have to count socks in your hand okay if you if you have more number of socks then your competitor then, then the other, other person he's going to put all the socks down just let's say he has six socks he can he, he will put all the socks down six socks and I'm going to put six remaining I'll give it then again we'll toss whoever wins will go ahead and start playing right here I have all the socks again toss it fine sometimes it's too close okay so you have to be very careful decision making is important Close this. Okay, good job. 
and then I go for this one. Yeah. Then I go for this one. Yes. Now it's kind of tough situation. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to use this one. <laughs> Got it? Okay. You can also keep it down. Okay. I'll try this one. <laughs> okay, then I have here. Ah, I miss it. Now, since you miss it, then the other person will get a chance, then he will continue. If you miss it, then again you are going to get a chance. So you can, you know, keep on playing the game. Right. Now for this game, if you want to make it difficult, you can use a non-dominant foot. Left foot, in my case, uh, my weak foot is left, so I'm going to play with my left. So challenge yourself, right. So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the activity. Uh, see you next time with more fun games. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.